WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 4 p.m. Eastern Time market update. We got markets closing out the trading session. S&Ps down by $13, trading at 55.27, 13 points, I should say. Trading at 55.28, you see the volatility in the day. We had that big jobs number, 10 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. There you see the volatility on the S&Ps. We initially drive down to 55.20. You trade up to 55.65, and just like that, you give up 45 points to that same 55.20 area, and we finish just above that price level, 15 points in the red, trading at 55.26. NASDAQ 100, trading down 48 points, about a quarter percent in the red. 18,958 Dow makes it into positive territory. Futures up by eight at 41,026 in the Russell, negative by five, trading at 2148. Bitcoin up $115 today, 58,310. Crude, one of the stories of the day. How about it? We hit the session low as we come into the close. 6884. Yeah, look for a two handle on gas prices coming at you. Gold contract right now. We had some volatility overnight in gold, down to 25.02 at about 5 a.m. You see the volatility on the job openings number, gold. Now, what do we have? We have decreasing yields on the job opening number, all right, and getting over to that jobs number. There's the headline. I'll scroll up to the top. Shame on me. Get it ready. Let's go. Come on. Cooperate. There we go. Job openings declined to the lowest level since January of 2021, 7.67 million. That number hit at 10 a.m. Eastern time this morning. There you can see the, the decline from over 12 million in March of 2022. Job openings now at just 7.6 million as this market a little bit tight. So what happens? The market says, well, maybe the Fed's going to have to cut a little bit more than they may have anticipated. So we have higher price, lower yield, and you're talking about yields right now. All right, we spent a lot of the time talking about this in the program. As you have the two-year and the 10-year disinverting, and you have the two-year right now at 3.77, and you got the 10-year at 3.76, just right next to each other. As, uh, yeah, the expectations are, cuts are coming down the line. The market wants them a little bit quicker than the Fed has indicated, but job openings, they are... Not quite what they were at one point. 7.6 million down from 12 million. Jobs number, an important one, coming out on Friday at 8.30. But I'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, folks. Have a great night. Stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Have a great one, folks.